Guys are ready. <laughs> Tony, just what did you see from Andrew Lindsay throughout his performance, and, and how nervous were you walking out to the mound there to pull him? Yeah, I didn't want to get punched. Um, it was more of a thought process, and Frank, you know, removed himself from the equation, and all he was doing was making jokes or making fun of me. So it turned into a, a good situation, a comical situation. But really, if you want to break it down, is it's a guy that is an ultimate competitor, and he, he wants to be on the field. And uh, he even admitted to me, you know, he's kind of going on fumes there for the last couple innings. Command maybe backed up a little bit. Um, maybe they took some of their better swings at the end, but he still had good stuff. Ball was still moving. Uh, Cal Stark even said he needs to go back out there for the ninth. So a lot of good things out of Andrew Lindsay since we've given him the ball in a starting role. But I think now he can officially feel like he's built his arm up. He's built up repetitions. And so there's nothing really holding him back. Uh, so more of the same, and yet he's getting stronger as the season goes. What made them so effective tonight? Uh, I think it's a different look. Um, almost with every pitch he throws, there's not a lot of similarities, even to if you're going to go the same type of pitch. That just He's one of those guys where it's not the same type of look. Um, and, and he was after the strike zone, and he had some defense behind him a little bit. So the whole thing worked out being to our benefit. And our offense did a good job. I mean, that ain't easy sitting around the hotel and doing nothing. Our guys have had some crazy scheduling stuff since the start of the year, and I thought they handled it really well. They came out loose but focused, and the fact that he was able to pitch with the lead, I think, was a benefit as well. How's, I know the pitching staff has been good all season long, but how has he changed the dynamic of the staff since you made those changes? I think he's relieved pressure on everybody. Um, there was so much pressure coming from so many different angles. Um, and, and just when we had that talk in the office with a few guys where it was a little bit of reset, I think it allowed everyone to just take a deep breath, almost like a, a timeout or a halftime, and let's look forward to the second half of the season and what I can do. And uh, it's simplified a lot of guys' tasks. It's relieved a lot of pressure. And it's under, you know, understood kind of now at this point what your role is if you're on our pitching staff. And you know, that brings comfort to them when they show up to the park. The way the outfield performed offensively tonight kind of just showed the growth y'all had there this season. Yeah, no doubt. And C. Scott is an older guy, but we go off of, when we look at lineups we're playing or our lineup, you look at at-bats. And C. Scott hasn't accumulated as many at-bats as a lot of guys in this league. He's seen a lot, but he needed to get out there and play and be an everyday guy and experience the things that come with that, not just physically, but mentally. And, and now all three of those guys that were out there today, I mean, Dylan's still uh, a little lower on the end, being a freshman and, and um, not as many starts defensively, but Dickey being out, that means you got an opportunity. And he took advantage of it, and um, you know it, it allows Griffin to do his thing too in that spot. He took some of the best swings I've seen him take all year uh, tonight, even though you know it wasn't his most explosive night. So good stuff from all the outfielders, including Griff. Just how impressive was Dryling? The ball finds him right away, first pitch of the game, and yeah. then early in the game, important series. That I mean, is hammers not the opposite way. Yeah, that is not an easy play. And, you know, this is a great venue, just like a lot of them in the league. And they show out. Our fans show out here. The last trip, it was incredible how many people we had here. And it looks like a good group this year, too. So we appreciate that. But if you play left field here and you're not wearing South Carolina colors, they're going to let you know some stuff. Um, so the fact he made that play right out of the bat was big time, right off the bat. How impressive was what he was able to do with a bunch of clutch hits going different directions with the ball? You know, I think the fact he's in there and just competing and trying to push forward in the inning is what makes him effective. But what he did was huge tonight. Um, the guys in the dugout were even saying it and, and kind of complimenting him in a bunch of different ways. Uh, but I think he kind of has that mentality of this is who I am, take it or leave it. And in whatever situation it is, I'm going to try and keep, you know, pushing forward or moving forward in this particular inning. And when guys do that, it, it really kind of simplifies it. Getting back to that word makes things more simple for him and you know maybe he's a simpleton <laughs> just how impressive or how frustrating were these last two days with the weather and and all the changes and yeah and not you, knowing what's going to happen I, I guess i think it's the same for both teams i mean it's the end of the year and it's that time of year you want to play and you want to play your best ball but it's also end of the year tournament time weather time you just kind of play when they say you can play and sometimes it might be two days. You know, it's not like little leaguers. We might have three games in one day, I don't think. Um, but kind of like our team did last year in Hoover, you just kind of wait for your assignment. And when you get it, you attack it. And when not, you got to chill out. Otherwise, you'll, you'll stress yourself out.